Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revis Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's lesson is for all of you out there who are struggling to manage a big number of design options in your Revit file. You know that thing when it started out with just a few, but then they quickly add up, and now your model is running slowly because of 20, 30, even 50 design options. So let's see today how we can quickly remove obsolete or redundant design options from your model to make it work quickly again. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Alright, let's see the two ways we can use to quickly clean up unwanted design options. I have here the quick way and the manual way. Let's see the quick way first. If I now close this window down, you can see we have two option sets there, each one with two options underneath. If I go to the Add-ins tab now, we can use a Revit plugin that we have developed. It's called RV Browser. If you have got it installed, just go to Add-ins, RV Boost, and then run RV Browser from here. If you haven't got this plugin, simply go down to the video description to get a completely free trial of this plugin. As soon as you've launched it, it will scan the entire model for elements in different categories and group them by family, type, and then instances. This is useful because before we delete any design option, we want to make sure that it only contains elements we no longer need. And with RV Browser, it's super easy to check that information. Simply go up here to the Filters group, go to Option, and when you click on this menu, you will see in here all the design option sets and options in your Revit model. For example, I have here set 1 called Entrance, and then option 1 and option 2 below it. Let's say I want to only see elements from option 1 of Entrance. I can now click here to do that. And the tree here, the element tree will quickly update to show only elements in that design option for you. While I'm here, I can then check this box to select all of those elements there. And as you can see, when I zoom into the model, the same items are now selected here as well. If I want to see them clearer, just go here, where I can do isolate elements. And then here they are. If they appear to be all obsolete, I can delete them straight away. Or maybe if I still need them, simply go to design options, click on this option here. And before we delete it, because it's the primary option, I need to now make the other one primary first. Sometimes you get errors like this. For the demo today, I've just dismissed it. So, option 2 is now the active option. I can now select option 1 again, and now press delete. As you can see, the element tree has updated. Option 1 is no longer there, so we are now taken back to the default state of the element tree. When I go back to option here, under Entrance, there's only option 2, so everything is live and constantly updated to give you the full picture at any point in time. This way, you can quickly see which options only contains elements you no longer need and delete it in Revit accordingly. If I want to check out, I can do that as well. If the tree shows only category, I can always expand this and see elements, families and types underneath this tree to make sure I'm deleting only things I no longer need. Super easy to do now. So, that's a quick way to do this. Let's see the manual way, in case you don't want to install this free plugin. Let me reset the view first. And now let's say I've done cleaning up options for the entrance. I can go now to here, and see which one of those two under layout that I can delete. Let's do the same thing now, of finding out which elements are there under this option here, layout 2. Firstly, I need to make sure that I'm starting doing this from a view where nothing is hidden. If I jump onto this view straight away, maybe I will miss some elements because what if they are hidden by element, by category, by filter and so on? I may not see them, even though they belong to that option that I want to check. So the trick is this. Simply select this view here on your project browser and press delete. Oops, that's the only view, so I need to open another view first. And then delete it from here. We did that because that's the default 3D view, and whenever you need, you can always go up here, click on the little house button, and that will create for you a brand new view, identical to the one before. But the main difference here is, because it's just been created, there's no view filter or visibility settings applied to it yet, 
and that's how we can be sure it shows everything that should be visible by default. Next step, we can try to switch to this option now that we want to look for, layout number 2. And here, let's try to see what it contains. It's a bit hard to see here, so firstly, let's change the view now to wireframe mode. And you can just see there, these are the elements in this option. If I want to see them in isolation, just like with RV browser, I can now do a cross window selection like this and do isolate elements. And here they are. It's not up to me if I want to delete this option. If that's the case, you can now switch back to main model, go to design option now, select layout 2 and just delete it from here. After doing that, we only have one option under each set much cleaner than before and much faster for the model to process. Whatever way you choose, either to go with a free plugin or finding elements manually yourself, make sure to clean up these options you no longer need frequently because they can be one of the biggest problems that slow down your Revit file. Alright, if you enjoyed this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel. For now, practice this new technique and I'll see you in the next lesson.